Hi, YouTubers, it's Tanya. I'm back again with water kefir. Um, I got some water kefir grains that I already drained and I rinsed them off. And I'm going to actually put these babies to sleep. So here's my water kefir grains I was showing you guys last time. So I made those with just sugar water and plums. And I let mine sit for three days. And here is the 12 ounces of water that I use. So I'm going to add that to my cranberry. And uh, we're going to have our cranberry. Uh, juice. So let's pour that in here. Okay, so this is my cranberry, and I'm going to add just a little bit more cranberries to this or water. So this is my cranberry water kefir, okay, guys? So what I'm going to do is show you how I put my uh, kefir grains to sleep, the same thing as how you would do your regular uh, kefir grains anyway. So we're going to put them to sleep. And here is some water. I already, um, we just want to submerge them. That's it. But um, and you want to add uh, sugar to these because they need to. They survive off of the sugar. Okay. So I'm gonna put maybe one, two, and um, they're just gonna stay in the refrigerator. And these are not real big, gigantic heaping teaspoons, but enough just to get the water keeper grains to actually submerge and they can stay in your refrigerator for as long as you like until you get ready to use them again or if not you can actually freeze them so you can put them in a freezer so let's go ahead and put these in here let's see one two three four five i'm still at five and a half of my water keeper grain so they did not actually do anything for me they didn't grow any they didn't well multiply and that's okay i'm gonna put them to sleep because i have enough right now that i'm gonna be using to drink so try to rinse them out and rinse them off as much as you can to get any of your fruit or anything that you're putting in here for minerals to get so that doesn't uh, be in your water. So this is my water kefir. I'm putting these to sleep and um, use them whenever I get ready to use them again. So when you get ready to use them, just rinse them off uh, with some filtered water and start back over. You can add whatever kind of fruit you want to it. You can put uh, ginger, you can put whatever you want. So just uh, enjoy your water kefir and I'll be right back with the milk kefir grains. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm back with the uh, milk kefir grains this time. So I'm going to go ahead and strain all so you guys can see me strain the milk kefir grains. And these, these are the milk grains, so they're going to be a different color. And I don't expect for these babies to multiply. What they actually do is they shrink. Um, and I, that's what I noticed. But they still work. I used, I've used i been using the other batch. I went on and got rid of those, but I was using those for a while before I decided to discard those. But this is a new, a new actual um, batch of my my milk kefir grains, okay? So this is, I'm going to rinse them off for you. So let me rinse them off and then I'll show you what they look like after I get them rinsed off. Okay, water grain, the milk kefir grains, sorry. The milk kefir grains were all rinsed off. And um, let me do it this way. You can probably see it a little bit better. But these are the milk kefir grains. They're a uh, different color because of the colors that you're going to use to ferment, okay? So these have been fermenting, and they were a little bit bigger than this when I used them. But I think they're, you know, I only use like a teaspoon or a nice teaspoon and a pinch of a, another piece. But I'm going to put these to sleep too, guys. So they're going to sleep too. So everything is being immersed in water, okay, with sugar water, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put a fil coffee filter over that. I did the water, the water kefir grains, okay, so everything's being submerged in water. You can keep them in your refrigerator for as long as you want, but do change over, uh, rinse them off, and change the water. Maybe, I would say, if, if so, maybe once a month, if, according to if you want to do it that way, once a month. Uh, switch over your uh, your uh, water and put fresh water and more sugar in there to keep keep them fed. You don't want them to starve. So go. I mean, they're not going to starve in the refrigerator. They're just going to sleep. But just go ahead and switch them over to make sure they stay fresh. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. So this is our the milk kefir. I like to taste them. Mmm. 
It really does taste good and it's perfect. I mean, it's perfect. I'm going to add this to the orange juice. So I do orange juice and I do uh, cranberry. My daughter likes the um, orange juice better, but I like the cranberry juice more. I don't do a second firm. I, I do it just like this. So this is my uh, keeper with um, orange juice. That was 12 ounces, guys. I do half and half, and then I dilute it with a little bit of water because I don't like the fizz, and I don't like the carbonation that builds up and alcohol and all that good stuff that's, that builds up in it. So once in a while, you can go in your refrigerator and take the top off some because let me, let me see. I'll do the other bottle. Now, for the cranberry, if you shake them up, you'll notice, look at all that, all that carbonation in there. So sometimes if you don't, you hear that fizz, okay, let's do it again. And let's see if you can hear it this time. Yeah, there it go. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. That part right there, could be careful with that because sometimes it can be so much in there, so much of the carbonation that it can, some people have said that their bottles blew up on them. So just be careful. I go through and I kind of just kind of lift it up a little bit, if I, you know, and get some of the air bubbles out of there, some of the carbonation out of there as well. But I, um, I love doing my water keeper. I love the fact that I can, can convert my milk keeper to water keeper to, just to do away for, with the dairy once in a while. But this is my actual cranberry um, water probiotic drink. Okay, guys. And it's really good. So enjoy your kefirin. If you have milk kefir grains and you don't have water kefir grains, go ahead and take advantage of those. Take some of those, a teaspoon or two, into about a 12 ounce container or 16 ounces, and go ahead and put those in um, in your water. Um, let them sit for about three days. Give them a chance to really, really ferment for you guys, okay? And then add whatever fruits, whatever you want to add to them for minerals, okay? Some people use the baking soda to help also with uh, multiplying, but I don't never use a baking soda. Uh, you can use maple syrup, you can use any type of sugar that you like. I prefer white sugar, you can use brown brown cane sugar, so you have lots of options. But I do thank you for joining me today with water kefir and converting my milk kefir to water kefir. And I do appreciate your time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by just pressing the subscribe button down on below and also, uh, thumbs up me okay and, and and if you have any comments please comment below and if you do want to purchase kefir grains for me do let me know so we can go ahead and communicate on that um, how we can get things up uh, uh, purchased from me okay and uh, thank you for watching me and I'll see you guys next time bye